We're live. What's going on, guys? We're here to watch Mark Maya against Gary Castro for the Card Overflow Round 1 feature match. And, okay, cool. Ooh, looks like Paper takes down Rock. That means G-Man gets to start this game off, unless he's playing something crazy. Blue Eyes or um, <laughs> evenly matched deck where he faces opponents going first. That's an interesting point of do our decks going to choose to go second because that card exists. I would personally would never choose to go second because this is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are watching a Pendulum match. He asked for a response to his Wisdom Eye. I'm not sure if he is expecting a Herald of Green Light. I, I love his answer. You. You. Yeah, so definitely Duelist Alliance for... That can search Pendulum Call, right? One Pendulum Monster. Yeah, I can search Pendulum Call, but it'll probably get Sorcerer. Because no, if he has Wisdom Eye, his hand's already good. Yeah. I feel like every once you have a Wisdom, I feel like anything is better than Pendulum Call at this point. Yeah, I did not know that you can't activate... Pendulum call like later in your turn. Ah, she didn't. That. So I was playing. Uh, there was a records tournament today, and um, I like I don't know. It was just like eight people, single elimination, whatever. And um, I lost because I tried to activate it later in the turn to a uh, dinosaur deck. Yeah. Wow. Um, I also had Book of Moon in my deck and uh, no side deck. So uh, Book of Moon is like actually just not bad. I would consider playing. It depends, like, if I main evenly matched. It's uh, an out to the elephant, dude. It's That's pretty true. good. Yeah, I was going to say, about adding Babuska seems really strong. And still locking out the extra deck zone. If they, like, Pendulum Summon, you just book down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. They just get rid, of, they get rid of all the cards and then just, like, make more of them. Like It's like, as long as the Link mechanic ex exists and, and it's not just all Link monsters, I think there's just a, a, always an argument for Book of Moon. Like, any card that really sets, like, I feel like Floodgate's always going to bounce it, well, like, Floodgate's, like, different, because that's, like, a trap card. Yeah, you know what I mean, though. Yeah. I think that card's going to be good again at some point, though. Like, that's not a... That's, like, a sleeper card. That card could... Well, like, I'm sure guess. eventually our our game is just going to evolve to my extra deck is 15 Link Monsters. Like, I'm sure within, like, the next six months. Yeah. That'd be upsetting. But, uh, you know, times change. Alright, so we get to Poison... Uh, Desires. What did... Did he add Double Iris off the Duel Alliance? Uh, uh, let's take I think so. Can we check the logs? Right. No, we can't. Okay. No, we can't check the... Uh, that means he already has Sorcerer, or he just doesn't feel the need to access Sorcerer this turn. I'm going to go with he already has Sorcerer, because not wanting access to the trap turn one seems very wrong. Yeah, when I was playing, I like never made Tornado Dragon. That just like never came out to pull my own cards. I just always got Sorcerer every possible time I could. It was a lot better when Draco was more popular. Yeah. Popular. Now it just seems like. Eh. Now there's just an elephant that negates everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's just like contest. Omega, Baguska, if I could, or like. I'd, I'd like never made time starting or many of those cards. It's just like always Baguska. Is hey, maybe this. Maybe now that people are making Baguskas, not Tornado Dragons, maybe Draco can shine in again by dropping a masterpiece. Is this uh, their round one or are they already into round this two? This is winner's round one, so. First, first okay, turn. so neither of them probably have any idea what the other's playing. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know Trigate and like those cards were legal. Deuce might be playing some type of Link deck. Yeah. He seems more of like a combo based kind of player. Well, clearly. Wait, Josh, I'm confused. You said winners round one. How's our winners for round one? Uh, winners. There's two different brackets. Yeah. So the way double elimination. Well, do you know how double elimination works or not? Yeah. Like, but like, it's round one, so like, I feel like it can only be like the winners bracket. Right? Well, losers round one is like happens at the same time as round two. It's it doesn't start in losers round two, so it's like winners round two and losers round one. Uh, oh, so it's so it's kind of like winners is always ahead by one, pretty much. Yeah, because everyone starts. Uh, okay. Winners. So okay, harmonizing so like, is the only like, new magician to be printed that has a once per turn clause, probably because this card is absurd. Which one? Harmonizing. Harmonizing. Yeah, there honestly should have just never been a pendulum tuner. Like they are just always asking for trouble. At least with this one, they put the clause cannot be special summoned for the extra deck. While that's not actually a restriction, they at least tried. It's not another luster. Yeah, Oak Dragon just like fixes that. Yeah, they they they, they kind of like snuck Oak Dragon's effect in there to yeah. fix that one. Well, 
But he's 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 like OG Magician Squad. Yeah. Uh, his 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 effect and Wisdom Eye is like monster effects. They just like suck. Well, like well, yeah. Wisdom Eye can get there. I mean, Wisdom Eye. Wisdom Eye is a Harmonize. hand trap, if I remember correctly. Right. Yes, he is. Yeah, Harmonize. I mean, uh, I keep saying the wrong one. Oak Dragon is like. So now we'll not get to see what he's playing. It might Ooh. just be a, like a magician mirror. He might, he might just actually scoop here yeah. to not show any information. Draco. Oh, he's playing Draco. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Oh God, he's playing the worst yeah. one though. He Ig he is a big fan of that Ignis card. I am not a big fan of that Ignis card. Ignis is at one. Just uh, yeah, Ignis is at one, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. It it could be at seven. I would still never play it. I'm so fit. 50-50 with Ignis. Like, I love it, but I hate it. Yeah, I, that I is like by far more, the first break card printed. I feel like I love it. I love it more than I hate it. Yeah, I used yeah. to think. I mean, when I was playing your deck at that one regional, Majesty Maiden was just like so neat. Like I really liked it until I drew like all the masterpieces and all the Majesty Maidens. Oh well, Majesty Maiden sucks. You just have to play it. Like I hate she that was card. The worst one by far. I don't know, man. If like, I could, if like I could play like one. I mean, Dynamite is clearly like one class. Dynamite. Oh my god. Wait, he should have just made. This, well, I guess Draco, so I no. I think the weakest gonna... magician board I've seen in a while. Yeah, well, like. Wait, um, he didn't it's, get it's... Pendulum Sorcerer and he didn't get the trap. So something Why did he not pop for the trap? Ooh, right? He definitely that... doesn't. I'm pretty sure he forgot. Yeah, he definitely forgot. Yeah, if he, he turned just, for magic, he was clear. Like, this game would end, please. Ooh, maybe it was set the set the real one, then like no set the uh yeah set the real one then like set more cards and then demise. I feel like that's what's coming because he's just waiting so long. No, if he, if he just tributes for Majesty here, this game's over. Yeah, but I feel like he might not have it because he's taking so long, you know. Oh uh, yeah, well that that's true. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah, I I always set the real one first because they sometimes when they just pop it and they just kill their guys. It's yeah. the greatest feeling. All right, so effective tribute. Uh, if he's afraid of masterpiece, he has to deal with this right here. But he has double poison, so masterpiece isn't a threat at any point in this game. Yeah, it's about, yeah, double spell or spell trap. I'm still very frustrated with that. I like how hard Draco got hit. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, like it was. Like, I'm not. Dynamite's like crazy. I'm fine with never seeing that deck again. But like the form that it exists in is frustrating. It just had such like a night, like, like a neat mind game of like you could set anything in your opponent would be like already scared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like the, card. the cards are cool, but the masterpiece card is a very unfair card. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they just banned masterpiece and like if they just banned masterpiece and diagram, like the deck would have been so cool. So. Oh no, I I really like Di diagram. I just like being able to like it's like a Fire King Island that you can actually not have to play shit cards. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird that he didn't just like normal summon first and he uses additional. So he might he might have like a magician, like a public magician or something. That he uses I think he wants him to use. Yeah, it. I yeah no, I, I'm pretty sure he just wants him to be because now he he definitely has heritage. That's why he's doing this. He's gonna get masterpiece heritage draw to uh, pop the iris, and then he can clear scales and make it so well, pop, poison pop doesn't help the masterpiece. Yeah, he could just go and shoot. Because if he pops purple poison, he draws three. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. I mean, like, if he has, like, another trap in his spell, he just makes it unaffected by traps and spells. That's his game, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, he targeted poison and scale. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's he what he's chain maiden? Does he have double masterpiece in hand? No, he did chain maiden. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of times where, like... I wish I played a real extra deck, because there were a lot of times where I just, like, lost the game because I didn't have, like... A real rank five, like the crystal answer with reason on stuff like that. Oh yeah, like so I, I just didn't find any cards for my extra deck when I played it. Yeah, and, and like I think I could have made crystal once, and it would have won me a game that I lost. But like, eh. Okay, well he's definitely making master or monster masterpiece, so like, he's safe. Oh wait, wait, wait. oh it died. I thought he was tripping there. I'm missing things. No, I should pay attention. I will, I will, oh, he I used tornado. He used Tornado Dragon to destroy poison. Right. Okay. Damn. I, I did not. Okay. So diagram, diagram for heritage. Yeah. This draws three. This right. game's over. Well, unless he just doesn't He's like gone. hit a monster. That could just happen. Well, he'll have no scales. I mean, wait. Throw a card in his hand. I if think he, he just like, draw any like no, right, literally has, any continuous. Right. He has masterpiece. So if he like just doesn't get to a continuous card and blows up disciples. 
But like not getting a monster like also just hurts. So like he kind of needs an, another monster for the purple poison. So his monster pieces like doesn't die. Well, he, he blew up the disciples. So now I'm questioning if he if he already has one. No, he's just gonna. He wants to draw, draw three. Like the odds of blanking on three cards right. is like right. I mean, you have demise. You have desires. You have yeah. Duality. You have blue boy. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe blue boy's not in his deck. I don't know. That's crazy. Oh uh, well, yeah. We we don't know that, but. That'd be crazy if it's not that. It's like, interesting enough that this guy opened probably, arguably, the best opening besides, like, if he plays Cosmic Cyclone against Draco and he just chose not to do it. Yeah. He's just powering through, leaving him on no cards and drawing three cards. Uh, maybe he's contemplating Scoop. Oh, maybe it's just lagging. I would just skip at this point. I think he was supposed to get the trap, but I, like I don't think oh, the yeah. trap mattered because he, just, he was like, he was sacked. definitely supposed to get the trap. Wait, that yeah. definitely mattered. Yeah, but, uh, it definitely mattered at some point. I don't know what his last card is that we don't, or his last card is that we don't know, but it definitely well, would have done so something. A lot of times, what happens with with the trap card is like you just sack, blow up the trap, and then like, well, I guess you just lose your battle phase then, right? If you you lose your monster. Then, okay, yeah, the trap would just leave him with, like, a live Tornado Dragon. So, like, that would change things, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely no way he missed on a monster. Or, like, a way to get to a monster. Yeah, desire. Well, he already has a monster. He's Masterpiece. Right, right. But, like, to make a monster Masterpiece. I mean, if he just, like, has Return or something, or... It's crazy. He's not even in a rush. He could literally just go, like, set trap and be fine. God, there are so many times in this deck when I would draw desires and I already felt like I was winning, so I'm like, I am just never using this card. <laughs> yeah. Because my opponent's only viable option for winning now is deck out. Because like, there's sometimes in this deck where you, you just can't close out because you play so few monsters. Wait, I really think it's like it takes a... still good, honestly. Like I know, I, I know even when you use a card, but like you don't have to kill your masterpiece ever. You know, I don't know. I mean, if you leave return, you can just, like, return back something that's in the grave and just, like, summon Masterpiece. Like, it's still... I don't know. I, I feel like this deck is still good in this format. I can't believe that they actually hit the correct card. Dynamite and return? Dynamite and return. Like, return is easily my favorite card. Yeah. Well... Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Well, we just straight left. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, so, so, just went? Yeah, according to the rules that I have created, like I made a document that's open for everyone, uh, disconnect things a match loss because you can change your deck in between, like, the games. Uh, it should just be, like, complete, like, a complete oversight if we just, like, left that out, so. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when, I, when I played in, like, the other tournaments, uh, they usually let the opponent choose. Right, right, yeah, that's what, um, like, the rules are that it would be a match loss, but obviously, like, if he wants to allow it, then he can. Yeah, because when I was playing in the, in the I think it was the Zodiac tournament, I, uh, I, I disconnected once, and my opponent was chill about it, he's like, you don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, thank, thank God. Yeah, if he wants to replay it, he can, but, um, yeah, well, uh, if not, then I guess, uh, he wins the match. To take that free oh. W. Uh, yeah. Damn it, I was really enjoying watching Draco cards again. Right, well, well, I'll just uh, end the recording here, I guess. Um, so, congratulations to DeSmire for winning round one, and uh, definitely check out the rest of the rounds, guys. I'll uh, leave the link to the Facebook group in the description, um, so definitely join that. Uh, see the future tournaments, join, watch, whatever. Yeah. Thanks, guys.